smack this, please. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Get out there, all you know. It's been yet another year full of fun and underground adventure for members of Dudley Caving Club. We began the year with a 12 hour trip to visit the largest cave passage in the UK. Have a listen to Becca. What is she doing? I leave it to your imagination. Oh God. Come on, babe. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The amazing bonsai tree was another highlight of the trip. Following this serious undertaking, our next outing was to a couple of novice caves in Burrington Coombe. The title of the video was just a tiny bit tongue-in-cheek, but some of the team do need to lose a little weight. Okay, Mel, so this is... Uh, <laughs> Called hellish tight. Yeah. How's it feeling? Um. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit tight. A little bit. Oh. I'm never going to be able to, have to get out of this. Yeah. Oh no! Now my bum's definitely stuck. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, that's a little bit cosy. Oh, I think I'm. I think I'm actually fully stuck now. In Sidcot Swallet, we slipped down the lobster pot to visit the dreaded Sidcot ducks. And great fun was had by those who, having escaped from the lobster pot, watched others struggle to get out. It was back down to the Mendips again in March to visit the incredible formations in Upper Flood Swallet. A trip to Moss Chamber in Peak Cavern is one of Britain's classic sporting caving trips. Another trip to Somerset in April saw us visiting the spectacularly decorated Shatter Cave and while in the cave we completed some delicate conservation work.
In May, our heroes nipped down to South Wales to knock off a quick SRT trip. One week later, we visited the Frozen Deep, the largest chamber in the Mendips. In early June we visited five caves in one day, although only the first three were filmed. Regular training sessions are held on Thursday evenings at the club's headquarters. Right then, Brian, and I want you to show me that you can do a changeover. Now, if you get this wrong, it's quite simple. You die. Right then, I now want you all to tie me an alpine butterfly. Please to show me your knot. Ian, show me your knot. Mark, show me your knot. Mark Berkey, show me your knot. <laughs> <laughs> this sporting through trip was undertaken during our fifth visit to the Mendips this year. Hi, I'm Troy McClure. <laughs> you may have seen me in such things as Tight Cave, Large Cave 1, Tight Cave, Large Cave 2. Tight cave. I'd never got out of that one. <laughs> but today, we're doing the fairy quarry caves, with possibly the tightest cave, uh, tightest cave squeeze in the UK. And if all goes according to plan today, we're going to go in here and come out over here. Okay, Mark, you go first. No, you go next. No, I think you should go first. No, you're older. You go next. Come okay, on, let's, let's go. go. Let's go. Yeah, you, 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 you first. You first. first. You first. <laughs> Mark, Mark, I think we're. I, I think, think we're, we're stuck. <laughs> Can somebody call Cave Rescue? Right, uh, my name's Troy McClory, you may have seen me in such a...
Genau, das ist Zeit. <lacht> Trouble is, I'm now at the groin area, and that's my biggest bit. So, <laughs> but you know what? I nearly saw the swear word then. See how critically acclaimed author Sarah Lotz got on when she undertook research for her next novel. Sarah? Yes? First caving trip ever? It is. Why? Um, because my new book opens with a caving scene and I really want to get the full terrifying sense of claustrophobia, pure darkness. I want to know what it smells like, I want to know what it feels like. Um, and I'm already getting some of that. <laughs> oh, I think I've got my hips stuck. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at it. Uh, so Sarah, here you are, halfway down the diver's pitch. Can I put it here? Yes, can put it there. Yeah. Uh, how's, it, how's it going so far? <laughs> I don't think I've ever been so scared in my entire life, and I've been attacked by lions and held up by four armed men with knives, with knives, and I've never been this scared. So uh, we're over halfway through the caving trip, Sarah. Yeah. What was your favourite bit so far? This definitely was just it was so much fun. I really want to do it again. Oh yeah. This was the first of two videos on the theme of seeing what it takes to capture underground photographs. So, what, uh, what have you got in your bags there? Right, well, that's got my camera. That one's filled with flash guns. Um, that one's filled with flash guns. And that one's filled with flash guns and flash bulbs.
The second video was shot the following week and went on to win the video competition at Hidden Earth in September. I'd like to have a go at a shot of the entrance pitch coming in, but I've been playing around with new macro lens and uh, I'd like to try and get a reflective eye shot of somebody actually abseiling the entrance pitch. Better? Yep, that's perfect. Right. Ready? Three, two, one. Okay, just look at Keith. Hey, I'll brand in my dragon. don't really feel the need to take much in the way of photos inside the cave. There is one opportunity though that I saw the last time I was there when we took the photo looking out of the window over the bay. Right. That window I believe points pretty much due west and that then gives us an opportunity if we make a trip later in the day we could actually find we see a nice sunset through that window. In September we also dug out and siphoned the sand sump in Cumdua 2 and investigated a couple of potential dig sites. And then in October, last year's highlights video was selected to be shown at the prestigious Kendall Mountain Festival. Our sixth, and for me, final visit to the Mendips took place on the 1st of November. But for me, it didn't end happily. Yes, yeah. As yeah. opposed to us who, yeah, you know, I, I don't... Yeah. Take the photo and clip it back again. Right.